Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Taurus May 17, 2022. The presence of the Sun, Uranus, and the Moon in your first house is going to be telling us that today you are going to be very aware of the way you feel and you are going to intensely rationalize how you express yourself and interact with your environment because the combination of these planetary energies allow you to see what was impossible for you and analyze beyond yourself what you feel. Without a doubt one day you will be very thoughtful and analytical. You are going to have a lot of expressive activity during the day and the way you do it is going to be very dynamic and effective thanks to the presence of Mars in your third house in the sign of Cancer, where you also have the presence of fortune that will allow you to express yourself effectively from a zone of security and control, being certain that your actions will have excellent results. You are going to be very active exchanging messages or calls with the person you like since the ruler of your seventh house, Mars. In the third house it will make it easier for you to start conversations and keep the communication channel active, allow trust and secrecy to manifest thanks to the energy of Scorpio that flows from your seventh house and create strong and intimate ties with that person you want to be your partner. You will see that positive things arise from that. Your mystical and spiritual friends have much to offer you within these spheres, so do not dismiss the esoteric advice they are giving you as Neptune in Pisces from your 11th house will allow you to share this type of information. Even if someone offers you a tarot reading, it will be something quite beneficial to improve your life. You risk surprising those around you today. You may be tired of your image of a nice boy and you want to stand out by pushing a few rants. But think about letting off steam by partying instead. We all need from time to time to free ourselves from our inhibitions to support the weight of our laborious daily life. The things that are going to be generating love for you today have a relationship with the material and economic, because as a good Taurus they are things that matter too much to you and having Virgo in your fifth house connecting through its ruling planet, Mercury in the house too in the sign of Gemini you will be feeling special sympathy for people who give you good ideas for business or to improve your economic life. Who can become your partners or close friends from whom sparks of love can be born? Why do you consider your impulses of the heart as a weakness? And why do you take refuge so often in work to escape the grip of feelings? If you haven't yet understood that love is the result of a joint effort, Prepare yourself for a sad future. Be attentive and spare the sensitivity of your partner, your children, or your friends. Take the time to say, I love you. The advice that the sign of Libra in your sixth house gives you today regarding your health is that you invest in some medical insurance if you do not already have one. Well, Venus from the second house in the sign of Gemini tells us that investing money in it can be something that will save you many problems in the future and that will allow you to keep your mind calm about that aspect and you will be able to put your mental energy in other matters. You must expect to make additional efforts, dear. Especially in the context of your emotional relationship, you have certainly experienced moments of great intensity, but probably of the order of fusion. Although it is very pleasant, today you could wake up and realize that you need to continue building your personal life. The house of the economy, house 2, it connects through the planet Venus with your 6th house, therefore, there is a lot to do with how you deal with the people at work, clients, or bosses, and how maintaining that harmony will allow you to keep your economy stable and balanced. Keep this quality that Libra gives you and be that person that everyone in your work loves and admires. Don't expect a day of rest. You risk finding yourself caught up in conflicts that don't really concern you. Will you suffer the consequences? Will you stay calm and continue your work as if nothing is happening? You who are rather in a period of liberation, we do not see why you would accept tensions that do not belong to you. Your second house in the sign of Gemini is enhanced by the energy of the planets Mercury and Venus, therefore, your economy will be manifesting quite well as long as you take advantage of the media to advertise yourself and do it in a refined and aesthetic way. Create eye-catching and tasteful advertisements about the services or products you offer and you will see how your sales grow. Today you will have a stronger awareness of the path you are following. 
Sometimes stress and the whirlwind of life make you lose sight of the goals you are pursuing. But today you will have more confidence and you will be more lucid. You will feel that you are fulfilling your destiny and that you are on your way to achieving your dreams. Advance serenely on this path, the stars of the day protect you and support you. Our eyes in the sky. Yesterday was the lunar eclipse in Scorpio. This luminary forces us to embrace our inner rebel and defy the status quo. The eclipse pushes us to open our minds and understand the truth of all matters, no matter how strange it might be. It's essential to embrace change and growth and allow yourself to take charge of your life. Expect the unexpected and accept the strange events or emotions that are headed your way. You're the leader of your pack, which means that you have a lot of influence over others. Now you can use your popularity for a good cause and organize a local protest or charity with your squad. With your long contact list and Saturn's influence, your humanitarian endeavor can be successful. Your friendship circle is evolving and changing. It's important to note that you're not growing apart from your besties, you're transforming the way you connect with those you care about. Pluto, the modern planetary ruler of Scorpio, is heavily influenced by this eclipse, so we can expect a lot of power plays and personal evolution. It's time to be the person you were born to be. Just after midnight, Ceres, the asteroid of nurturance, enters Cancer, stoking sentimental impulses. At this time, we support others by being hospitable. However, this protective ideology taken to extremes can cause our nearest and dearest to feel smothered. Grief may play a prominent role in our interactions now. We should be mindful of our attachment to the past, to nostalgia, and to tradition. The prime error under Ceres in Cancer is offering assistance when it is not asked for, then becoming hurt because our utility is called into question. Instead, we should ask others what they need and judge emotional availability as the key component of care. The last time Ceres transited Cancer was mid-July to late September of 2017. Look back to this period to take note of similar themes. At dawn, Venus conjuncts Chiron in Aries, stimulating insecurities in matters of the heart. As with all Chiron transits, the only way out is through, and confronting old love wounds is the antidote to perpetuating heartache. We now achieve healing by reassessing our intrinsic worth. This aspect can especially trigger a reminder of how we have denied our desires to appease another, unaware that our uniqueness was what made us attractive in the first place. Now we are encouraged to share ourselves authentically to attract healthier relationships and regain our self-esteem.